Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this Gustav Klimt inspired face art design. So if you want to see how it's done, please keep on watching. So before we start this look, I've already done a thin layer of primer and foundation and then I'm going to stick my eyebrows down using a washable glue stick. This is just so they sit nice and flat to the skin. Then I'm using a red liner pencil to draw in our basic shapes, so a heart shape on the forehead, down the nose, along the cheekbones and lining the lips. For the lip shape today I'm going for a small geisha style rosebud kind of shape. Now I'm going to fill in between those lines with some white face paint, taking care not to go over them so that they stay nice and visible. You might need two coats of white depending on the brand that you're using. Just keep working it in until it's somewhat even. A lot of it is going to be covered up with detail but we just want it as even as possible. Then I'm going to take a flat brush and some red face paint and I'm going to flick upwards from those red guidelines to create some shading. If the shading gets a little bit too crazy you can just go back in with some more white to balance it out. I found that applying the white paint with one brush and then fading it out with a clean fluffy brush works best for getting that nice even fade. And I'm going to do the same thing with all of those red lines except for the forehead and the lips which I'll just be filling in with straight up red face paint. If you're wearing this out you'll need to go right up into the hairline so that none of your skin tone is showing through but I'll be wearing a headband over my hairline so it's unnecessary. Now to get Klimpty, I'm using a gold face paint and a pointed brush to draw on some spiral patterns on the one side of my forehead, connecting them all together as I go and making sure that there's a nice range of sizes and shapes. Now I'm going to do some more spirals on the other side of the forehead but with this one I'm keeping the spirals a lot bigger and a lot more closer together if that makes sense and I'm also making a small dot in the centre of each one. Onto the cheeks I'm going to be making some Klimt inspired dots and flowers so I'm starting with gold and then I'll add some more colours later on. As you can see I'm using the side of the brush so that all of the spots are gold are relatively the same size. Then for the jawline I'm going to be doing some squares and rectangles. Again I'll be going back in with some more detail later on so I'm bearing that in mind and leaving some gaps as I go along the jawline. Now to start adding some more colour, I'm using a green liquid liner to outline some of the gold dots and I'm also creating some more dots around the same cheekbone area. And I'm going to do this with a few more colours as well until we've built up a good amount of dots with some overlapping others. I'm also adding a touch of red to one or two of the spirals on the forehead where I made those little gold dots. So now we continue adding more colours, 
And with the blue liquid liner I'm also creating some very tiny flower shapes which are scattering down towards the centre of the face. The shapes and patterns that Klimt used in his work are very simple but are very distinctive so that's what I'm aiming for with this look today. Now I'm going to go over the top of some of those gold lines with a gold liquid liner. This is going to add texture and also an extra layer to the design as was done with a lot of Gustav Klimt's work. Now to add a bit more detail to the lips, I'm adding a broad stripe of gold just to the bottom lip which will complement the pattern going along the jawline. To accent the cheeks slightly I'm using a white liquid liner and then I'm going to add some more square and rectangular shapes on the jawline and that's going to go in and around the gold ones that we've already placed. Now for some black, I'm first going to paint in some crescent shaped eyebrows and also a small line inside that gold stripe on the bottom lip before adding more detail and more rectangle shapes to that jawline pattern. For the eyes today I'm going to keep it fairly simple, I'm going to create a large red wing shape on the upper lash line and fill the lid with that red as well and then I'm also making a smaller downward pointing wing on the lower lash line and then I'm going to line the top lash line again but with a smaller wing this time using black liner or face paint. And don't forget to fill in those water lines with the black liner too. Now I'm going to black out my neck so that when I'm stood in front of a black backdrop the face will be the main attraction and the neck and the body will disappear into the background. Now for a quick coat of black mascara to the top and bottom lashes and also a generous dusting of gold toned highlighter to the high points of the face and also anywhere that I've added that gold paint. And then as a finishing touch I'm adding some gold coloured stick on jewels using some clear lash glue. I'm putting some under the brows, some along that red heart shape on the forehead and a few more dotted around to accent the entire design. And this is the completed look. That is it for this tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did please drop me a like, I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to this channel before you go. And if you want to see some more of my makeup looks right now, you can click on the links on screen and I'll talk to you in the next one.